Hi guys, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to a new reading. This is a new sort of reading that I want to try out um, and it's what do your loved ones in spirit want to tell you and so I've done this reading before um, but I've done I've done like little short readings um, where you know I didn't actually sit down and go through each zodiac sign but that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to start with Aries. I'm going to go through all 12 signs. So this video will be time stamped for each sign. Um, and that's what I'm asking. What do your loved ones, or it could be a specific loved one who's passed on, what do they want to tell you? What's the message that they have for you? And so I'm going to start with Aries. If you like this sort of reading, please comment. Let me know. I'll do I'll do more of them. But I'm just trying something new. I'm trying to, you know, change it up a little bit. So let's see what we got. I'm looking at Aries. What does Aries loved ones and spirit want to tell Aries? So let's see. Aries, what do you... Aries, okay. Okay, we have two. It is beautiful where I am. It is beautiful where I am. I am not dead. So one thing I'm really getting here is I'm really seeing the sky and then we have this beautiful bird here. So Aries, you may see birds. Birds may be significant, um, but yeah, they're not dead and where they're at, it's beautiful. Let's see if we get any more jumpers from this deck. So if this person just passed or you, you know, you've been sad, maybe thinking about them recently, thinking about how they're no longer here um, in the 3D, they're letting you know that they're, they're still here, they're not dead. And I think that they're around you and they may absolutely um, communicate with you through birds. Interesting. I had to leave that way. So yeah, this really feels like, you know, maybe it was unexpected or their death Maybe it happened for some of you. Maybe you were not there. There could have been something around the actual passing. Sometimes people pass when we're not there. You know, sometimes, you know, we're by their side. We're with them throughout the whole experience, the whole encounter. But we may... Um, leave their side um, for just a moment and sometimes that's when they go so there could be something around that Aries and then we also have I watch over you every day we have a heart here so yeah they're with you they are with you now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a couple other decks here. Maybe we can get more information about this person. But let's see. For Aries, what do their loved ones in spirit want to tell them? Aries. So we do have sun showing up and it says your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. So it could be that if you have a son, they're around your son. A 
a son could be significant in some way. Okay, we have a few here. I thought it was one, but it's three. Um, dietary change, improve your diet and your life will also improve. Birthday, a significant birthday holds the answer to your question. And then your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. So there could be, there could be a birthday or an anniversary, something like that that's coming up. You may have a son and they're going to maybe be at their party if you have a son and they have a birthday that's coming up. That's interesting. Um, and then your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. So maybe some of you have been worried about your son. Now the diet could be significant. So for some of you, it could be that that's maybe how they passed. It could be related to um, a problem where maybe it does stem from the diet and what they were eating, things like that. And also, also here with I watch over you, I'm not dead, your desire is within reach. I think they're around you right now, Aries, as you manifest something in your life and they're letting you know that you're close to that. Maybe some of you are, right now, Aries, you could be looking at your diet, you could be making some changes, but let's see if we can get their sign for Aries loved one. Let's see if we can get their sign for you. And if you have a son, Aries, if you have a son, this person could be watching over your son. Maybe they have a birthday that's coming up. But this reading is obviously very specific. It's something new that I'm trying. And, you know, if this is for you, you will know it. But I definitely recommend for this reading that you do watch your sun, your moon, your rising. Definitely watch all of your signs. Okay. For Aries person. We have Aries, <laughs> Aries, so they could be another Aries, and then we have Capricorn showing up. All right, Aries, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. If you like this, um, comment, let me know. I will continue doing these sort of readings. I'm um, just uh, trying to switch it up a little bit, trying new things. All right, let's move on to Taurus. All right, hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. All right, let's take a look at what your loved ones in spirit want you to know. What is the message that they have for you? Far too many. Um, this could be loved ones or a particular loved one. So let's take a look, this is for Taurus. What? Does Taurus's loved ones in spirit want them to know? So, of course, these messages could be uh, messages for you now, or it could be it could be other messages. Could be very specific messages. But let's see. For Taurus, their loved ones in spirit.
Taurus. What does Taurus's loved ones and spirit want Taurus to know? And if you are wondering, this is the Talking to Heaven Oracle card deck. I always give you a good night kiss. So Taurus, you may feel their presence maybe at night. For some of you, this really makes me feel like it could be a father or maybe a grandfather. For some of you, it could be a husband that passed. But let's see, Taurus. What is the message for Taurus? Okay. You are never alone. So maybe you feel alone, Taurus, but you're not, you're not. Okay. I want to see, let's see if we get any more jumpers, but this is quite beautiful. Taurus. Okay, we have, don't be afraid. So yeah, I think I'm definitely reading for some Taurians where you may, you may be psychic, you have psychic abilities, you may feel this person around you, you may feel them around you, maybe some of you do sometimes feel alone, they're letting you know that you're not alone, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of blue, there's a lot of purple here. So um, for some of you, you could still be healing from their loss. Yeah, some of you Taurians, you're going through something, um, you're healing. They want you to know um, that you're not alone and also don't be afraid. Oh, look at this, this is at the bottom. I am surrounded by loving animals, okay? This is beautiful. I, I never see this particular card ever. So we have a couple of dogs, there is a bird, there's a parrot, and then there's a cat. So for some of you Taurians, you have maybe an animal or animals in spirit around you. Definitely, definitely. So maybe some of you, you could have lost a dog, something like that. Um, and they're with you. Let's see if we can get more information with this deck for Taurus. What are the messages for Taurus, please? From their loved ones in spirit. So I think that you have at least a couple of energies uh, coming through here, Taurus, today. I think that you have Maybe a parent, could be a mother or father or a grandparent that is coming through, a guardian, someone that raised you perhaps, and then you also have an animal or animals that are coming through. Not for Taurus. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. So they want you to take it easy. Also, if you are maybe trying to control everything, Taurus, um, the guidance here from them is to maybe um, kind of lighten up, let go, uh, go with the flow, don't be so focused on something, and that's maybe how you help 
bring it about. And then we have holiday at the bottom of the deck and it says the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, a retreat or a holiday getaway. That's interesting. So the guidance from your loved ones in spirit is to maybe for some of you take a vacation. You may need a vacation. Easy does it and then holiday. Yeah, some of you may need a break. A holiday Taurus could be significant in some way. So um, for some of you, it could be that someone passed on a holiday or, you know, there is some sort of maybe holiday or it could be a trip, something that's coming up here. And the guidance for you is to maybe um, enjoy yourself. All right, let's see. Who is Taurus? Who is Taurus? Who is coming through for Taurus, please? Who is coming through for Taurus? Earth, so maybe they were an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries. For some of you, they could be Cuspers. Very nice, Taurus. I hope that you found this little reading helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Also comment, let me know. All right, let's move on to Gemini. Hi, Gemini. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. And welcome to a new reading that I am doing. This is the Talking to Heaven Oracle Card Deck. And what I'm looking at is messages from your loved ones in spirit. And what, you know, what are they? What are the messages from your loved ones or loved one in spirit? What do they want you to know? Could be guidance for you right now or it could be something um, about them let's see for Gemini what are the messages for Gemini We have been together in dreams. We have been together in dreams. So that can mean a couple of different things, but for some of you, I feel like maybe you dream about them. They definitely are communicating with you, Gemini, while you sleep, no doubt. Let's see what else we get. For some of you, I feel like possibly this person was an ear sign like you. Not all of you, but for some of you, highly intelligent. A good communicator. Let's see, Gemini. I'm shuffling so much guys because I like the jumpers so those of you that have been with me for a long time you know this already um, if you are new to my channel I do prefer the jumpers okay so I'm gonna take two interesting so we have been together in dreams 
I am sorry, please forgive me. Okay, and it's not your fault. So some of you, maybe you blame yourself. Could be blaming yourself for their passing or maybe things that led up to that. It also could be um, that maybe some of you Geminis, you're blaming yourself for maybe something that's going on in your life currently and they're around you and they want you to know, Gemini, that it's not your fault. Yeah, for some of you, this may be, maybe it was um, your partner. For some of you, it could have been a partner that passed or even like an ex-partner. Yeah. But I'm definitely reading for some Geminis where you're blaming yourself for something. We have, you have nothing to feel guilty about. This is what's at the bottom of the deck. And so I'm reading for some Geminis where you, are, you definitely may have blamed yourself could be for their passing, but if not their passing, something else, something else. Um, but they want you to know that they, you know, they love you. There's nothing um, that you should feel guilty about. And as a matter of fact, I think that they're connecting with you while you dream. All right, let's see if we can get more information about this person or what they want to tell you business venture trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity maybe for some of you you could have worked with this person that's a possibility or maybe you're going through like some career changes at the moment gemini and they're around you they see this and they're telling you to connect with nature you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So ground your energy, take time. If you can, go outside. And also maybe use affirmations. You have affirmations at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this person could have been maybe very positive, a, a very positive influence in your life. And this says to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. Yeah, so especially those Geminis where maybe you feel guilty, maybe you're blaming yourself for something those of you that are focused on business, the guidance here from them is to maybe go outside more. If you're working a lot, um, maybe some of you need to go outside, get some fresh air. Let's see, what sign is this person who's connecting with Gemini today? ear and I got that early on so this person could be a fellow ear sign or you know maybe they are just very smart highly intelligent person good communicator maybe a Libra could be a Libra beautiful beautiful all right Gemini I hope that you find this reading helpful all right, let's move on to Cancer. All right, hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. And welcome to a new reading that I am trying out. And it's really talking to heaven. Um, I'm 
looking at the messages from your loved ones or a loved one in spirit. What do they want to tell you? Cancer. What do they want to tell Cancer? What are the messages for Cancer, please? Tears cleanse the soul. Tears cleanse the soul. All right. So if you've been like bottling up your emotions, um, not expressing your feelings, they're around you, they see this and they, they maybe are guiding you to maybe be more open to express your feelings more. Let's see what else we got. For Cancer, what are the messages for Cancer? From their loved ones, what are the messages for Cancer? I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. Okay. So this person could have passed. For some of you, maybe they did not get to express themselves to you, Cancer. Maybe for some of you, they didn't get to tell you that they love you or how much they love you before they passed. There's a lot of love here, Cancer. Look at both of these cards. You have hearts, two big hearts here on both of these cards. There's a lot of love here. Some of you, maybe this person passed recently, you still definitely could be grieving their loss. Let's see if we get any more jumpers for Cancer. Far too many. So here at the top we have, I feel healthy and happy. And you can see here how this guy looks quite free. Far too many. So this person now is, is free. Okay, I send you loving signs through nature. So they communicate with you through nature. Could be butterflies, dragonflies. So go, go outside, keep your eyes open. There's definitely gonna be signs. Uh, we will be together again. So you will be with this person one day again so that's beautiful I am just a thought away so I think that they're they're with you they're definitely with you there's a lot of love here if you feel alone yeah if you feel alone for some of you uh, all you have to do is maybe go outside or just think of them but yeah if you can get outside there's definitely going to be signs from them that they're with you. If I if I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. That's quite an interesting card. So for some of you, this person, not all of you, but for some of you, um, this person could have maybe lived I don't want to say reckless life or anything like that, but, you know, maybe they didn't, you know, eat the best or they didn't live, um, you know, the healthiest sort of lifestyle. For some of you, they could have passed when they were younger. Um, there could have been, you know, certain things that they did that... You know, they would have done differently. 
but this person is definitely with you. All right, let's see if we can get more information from this deck for Cancer. This definitely could have been a partner for some of you. Marriage, look at that. So for some of you Cancers, maybe this was someone that you were married to, or if not married, um, maybe you were with them for many years. So we have marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded, wedded bliss. So if you are married now or you're with someone that you're you know happy with, they see this and they're with you. And then we also have the do some research card. That's an interesting one to see. You need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. So that's interesting. I could be reading for some cancers. We are maybe you're thinking about getting married or settling down with a particular person. Your loved one is around you. They see this. Maybe they want you to get more information about that. Um, could also be, you know, with this particular card, maybe some of you need to look at specific details. It could be, you know, legal stuff, legal details. Hmm, that's interesting. This person could have been, I'm getting earth. I'm getting earth. I'm also getting ear. So maybe they're an ear sign. Could have been an earth sign. Let's see, who is coming through for cancer? Fire, look at that. So Leo, Aries, Sag, and then we have Taurus. All right, Cancer, I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on to Leo. All right, hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to a new reading that I am trying out. This is looking at messages from your loved ones, or a loved one that has passed on. What are the messages for Leo from their loved one that has passed on? What are, what are the messages for Leo? We are so connected, we will be together again. So you will be with this person again one day. We are so connected. So uh, for some of you Leos, this, this could have been a partner or even a parent. For some of you, definitely feel like this was um, a relative. For others, you know, it could have been a partner uh, maybe, maybe you still feel so very connected to this person. For some of you, maybe they passed, you know, years ago, but you still feel that connection. There's still a whole lot of love here. Let's see what else we got for Leo. What are the messages for Leo? I'm also getting that for some of you, this person could have been, they could have been uh, another Leo. 
or they may have had uh, fire in their chart or possibly even a water sign. But let's see. Leo, what are the messages from Leo? Believe in yourself, you can do it. And then life is a series of choices. Choose love. So you could be um, going through something currently, Leo, where maybe you've been doubting yourself, this person is around you and they're telling you to believe in yourself that you can you can do it you can do anything i also am definitely reading for some leos we are maybe you're about to start down a brand new path and if you're doubting it or yourself in any way they're telling you to to believe in yourself and also choose love life is a series of choices choose love but yeah i'm definitely reading for some leos we are you still feel very connected to this person because you are there's still a lot of love here i think they're around you you will be with them again one day some of you, Leos, you may even be faced with currently a decision about love. This is at the bottom. What a beautiful card this is. It says, I am so much better now. Look at this card. So for some of you, Leos, this person could have been quite sick. Um maybe for some of you possibly in a lot of pain but they're in a much better place okay all right let's go to this deck here for leo Easy does it. So I believe it was Taurus that had this as well. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all doors will open for you. So they want you to take a break. Easy does it. Um, for some of you others, maybe you're very hard on yourself. Yeah, some of you Leos, you could be very hard on yourself. They see it. And then we also have spring. We have spring here at the bottom of the deck. And this says, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. So the springtime could be significant or was significant. Um, maybe something happened in the spring for some of you. Also, this person could be letting you know, Leo, that something is coming about in the spring. And so um, in the States, we're in the spring right now. We're in like the middle of springtime. So for some of you, something could be coming about or fully coming to fruition during the springtime. Let's see if we can get their sign. Who is connecting with Leo? Who is connecting with Leo? Let's see. Okay, we have Pisces. And then Gemini. Definitely getting water. We have Gemini here as well. So maybe they were a Gemini or a Pisces. All right, Leo. So I hope that you found this little reading helpful. 
Let's move on to Virgo. Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to a Messages from Spirit reading. This is looking at what your loved ones or a loved one in spirit wants to tell you. Okay, we have been together in dreams. So who had this? Was it Gemini? Was it Gemini? It may have been Gemini. So this person visits you while you sleep. You may dream about this person. All right, what are the messages for Virgo? We will be together again one day. This card keeps showing up, which is beautiful. Let's see. Virgo. Okay. I am learning over here. So they're still maybe learning. Okay. And then we have, my mind is free. Interesting. So for some of you, this person certainly could have been a water sign, but I'm also getting ear here as well. but they're, they're, still, they're still learning. And so everybody has their own beliefs, um, but I think that they're still learning and growing on the other side. Um, but when they passed, for some of you, maybe this person was dwelling on something in particular, very stressed out, dealing with, you know, some sort of maybe very stressful situation in their life. Maybe they felt trapped, but they're free now. Their mind is free. They may certainly see life. They may see things in a very different light now. And they also communicate with you um, through your dreams. You may dream of this person. Okay, we have everything's okay. Don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. So if you're going through something specific at this time, Virgo, I think that they're with you. This is them letting you know that everything is okay. Maybe some of you are worrying quite a bit. Could be a daughter for some of you we have daughter here so if you're going through anything with your daughter um, they're around you they're with you helping you through it for some of you of course it could it could be a daughter a granddaughter of yours let's see what sign is this person what sign? This could be someone that maybe you thought of as a mother, mother figure, an aunt. Could be your mom, grandmother for some of you. That's a possibility. We have Ear, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra. So another, I believe another, was it another sign that had this exact combo? Um, so yeah, again, watch your other signs. 
but definitely getting ear. They may have been an ear sign, but I'm also getting water here as well. All right, Virgo, let's move on to Libra. Let's see. Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to a messages from your loved ones reading. I am talking to heaven today, so uh, let's take a look at what the messages from your loved ones or a loved one in spirit has for you. This is for Libra. What are the messages? Okay. Ooh. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. So maybe they didn't get to tell you that before they, they, they passed, that they love you or how much they love you. There's still a whole lot of love here. Okay, let's see what else we can get. For Libra, what are the messages for Libra? I had to leave that way. This is such an interesting card. So yes, another sign did have this. So maybe when they passed, um, they could have they could have passed you know when you left the room or you left their side so if they were going through something uh, you could have um, maybe left their side for like a moment and that's when they passed and so for some of you that's what I'm getting others you know they they maybe they passed alone or there could have been no communication even. Some of you Librans, you could still be maybe mourning their loss. We have tears cleanse the soul. Yeah, Cancer had this. So you have two hearts here. So yeah, there's still a lot of love here, but maybe the way in which you know, they passed, maybe you're not with them, or maybe they couldn't communicate. Yeah, there's something with that. I have no more earthly worries. So again, maybe they were dealing with maybe an illness or it could have been a very stressful situation in their life but they're no longer dealing with that let's see let's see if we can get more information for libra this person could have been an earth sign Getting Earth, possibly a water sign. Really, I feel like they could be any sign. Maybe they were a vegetarian for some of you. A new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. If you are a vegetarian now, Libra, or maybe that's something that you're deciding about right now, they're around you, they see this. You've got the power. You've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. Interesting. So if you're dealing with it could be a health issue if you're dealing with something libra currently 
Maybe they want you to look at your diet. That's a possibility. Um, they're letting you know that you have the power, you have the ability to maybe make some changes with this situation to create change in your life. And then for others, of course, they could have been a vegetarian. Maybe they were a very powerful person. They could have been someone who maybe worked a lot or was very focused on their career. And, you know, maybe they wish that they spent more time with you. That they told you how much they, they love you. Let's see what sign they are. Who's connecting with Libra? Could be a Leo for some of you. Leo, possibly Scorpio. Really, I'm getting all elements here, really. Could be any sign. Let's see, Libra. Leo, and then we have Cancer. And I believe Cancer had both of these cards. Leo, Cancer, and there's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, Libra, I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Also comment, let me know if you like this reading. All right, let's move on to Scorpio. All right. Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to a new reading that I'm trying out. This is messages from your loved ones in spirit. What do they want to tell you? Okay, don't be afraid. Some of you, maybe you're feeling nervous or afraid right now. They're telling you not to be afraid. Let's see, Scorpio, what are the messages for Scorpio? My mind is free. Okay, so when they passed, they could have been dealing maybe with a very stressful situation. This person could have been an overthinker. Maybe they were an ear sign. Let's see, for Scorpio, what are the messages for Scorpio? We will be together again one day. I think that they're definitely around you currently, though. They're definitely with you. And if you're going through something, Scorpio, we are, you're afraid and maybe you're very stressed out, that's the message, that they're with you. Believe in yourself, you can do it. Yeah, so maybe you're doubting yourself. Maybe you're an overthinker as well for some of you. Could be doubting yourself. All right, let's see if we can get more information for Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio? Some of you Scorpios, maybe, maybe you're about to take a leap of faith. Maybe you're about to start something new in your life. Maybe you're scared and they're around you. They're definitely guiding you and they want you to believe in yourself. Okay. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. So the guidance here for you, Scorpio, from them is to maybe speak up, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. That's interesting. 
love life is at the bottom. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. Okay. For some of you Scorpios, maybe you've been alone for a long time, but that's about to change. You could be scared. For some of you, this, this could have been a partner. This could have been a partner. Yeah. But for others, I feel like it's possible this is a parent. This is a parent who is, is around you. And they're guiding you definitely um, in your love life. And it could be because maybe some of you are afraid of love. Let's see, what sign? If you're married, if you're currently with someone, but maybe you're afraid to maybe ask your partner for something or ask them for help. I think that um, you're being guided to definitely speak up in some way to believe in yourself. Okay, Aries and then Capricorn. All right, Scorpio, I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on to Sagittarius. All right, hi, Sagittarius. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. And welcome to a messages from your loved ones reading. Yes, today I'm talking to heaven. So let's take a look at what the messages from your loved ones or a loved one um, have for you. So let's take a look for Sagittarius, please. So these messages could be in regards to them, what they want you to know, like a message from them, or, you know, maybe they want to talk about something that's going on in your life. So this could be, you know, any number of different things. Let's see, for Sag. What are the messages for Sag, please? It was my time to go. So, Sag, if you were thinking, you know, like this person went too soon, they're letting you know that it was their time. Let's see, let's see what else we get. I'm also getting with this card that maybe for some of you they could have, maybe they passed when you weren't there, something like that. I am surrounded by loving animals. So they could be with their animals. If they were an animal lover, uh, they could be with their animals, but also this can be your animals coming through there around you. Maybe some of you lost a pet. Let's see, for Sag, what are the messages for Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius. It's not your fault. So if you blame yourself in any way, 
they're letting you know it's not your fault. Okay. Oh, look at that. I am standing right next to you. They're with you right now. Right now. That's beautiful. And this is another card, guys, that I don't see often. So, for some Sages, I feel like there's two, there's at least two energies here. Um, one could definitely be a pet that passed on that's with you. But then also, um, there's another energy here. So, could be a father, could be a father, grandfather. But yeah, maybe some of you feel like they went too soon or something like that. But they're letting you know that it, it was the right time for them. They're also in a, a better place. You know, for some of you, maybe their life was a little, a little hectic, perhaps. Okay. Birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. So they may have a birthday that's coming up, or maybe you have something coming up. If not a birthday, it could be, um, could even be like an anniversary. There could be an event. There could be some sort of celebration that's coming up. And I think that they're around you. They're going to be there. That's for sure. And then also connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So if you're feeling not yourself or needing to ground yourself, get outside. Especially maybe those of you where you feel guilty or you're blaming yourself um, for something. They're, they're guiding you. They're letting you know to maybe go outside, take a walk. And also that I think they're going to be around you. There's some sort of um, party or celebration. Could be someone's birthday. Could be their birthday. That's coming up. And they're around you. Okay. Oh, and we do have daughter at the bottom of the deck. So it could be, could be a daughter. This could be your mom or grandmom as well. All right, let's see what sign. Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and then Sag. Could have been another Sag. All right, guys. So I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, comment, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you are subscribed. You can also now become a member. All right, let's move on to Capricorn. All right. Hi Capricorn, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to a special reading where I'm looking at what your loved ones want to tell you. So your loved ones in spirit, what are the messages for Capricorn? What are the messages for Capricorn? I have become one of your guides. So they've stepped into that role where they're now one of your spirit guides. Okay. Capricorn. What are 
are the messages for Capricorn? Okay. You have nothing to feel guilty about. So if you've been blaming yourself. Okay. They're helping you with that. Okay, let's see. Capricorn. I am with the rest of the family. So this is definitely a family member for many of you. If not a family member, um, maybe a close friend of the families. Life is a series of choices. Choose love. So if you have an important decision to make right now, Capricorn, for some of you, maybe it is in regards to your love life. They're with you. They're around you. I'm definitely reading for some Capricorns where I feel like you have a lot of people around you. And if you've been blaming yourself for anything, uh, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. There is a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here. And they've stepped into this role. So they're now one of your guides. Let's see if we can get more information. Some of you, you may be faced with a decision right now in your life and their their message to you is to choose love okay, we have flower power spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power so this person, they could have been like a florist or um, maybe they loved essential oils or, or anything like that. Um, but then for other Capricorns, it could be that maybe, maybe um, that's you. Maybe you love flowers. Maybe you always have fresh flowers in the house or maybe you love essential oils. And we have it express your individuality here at the bottom so this person also could have been maybe like a very um like outgoing could be like a loud personality a big personality um this says allow your true self to shine because you are awesome so this could have been like a really awesome unique individual definitely for some of you um but if you've been maybe um, like withdrawn or if you've been holding back your awesomeness, Capricorn, that's the guidance. They want you to maybe express yourself more, choose love, allow your true self to shine. All right, let's see what sign. I'm definitely getting ear, could be an ear sign, but really could be any sign. I'm getting ear quite a bit though. Let's see, we have Scorpio. And then there you go, there's ear. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Definitely getting Aquarius vibes. All right, Capricorn. And speaking of Aquarius, let's move on. Let's see what your messages are, Aquarius.
All right, so hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. And welcome to a special reading. I am looking at the messages from your loved ones that have passed on. So let's take a look at the messages for Aquarius. If you do like this reading, uh, please like the video, comment, let me know. Make sure you are subscribed. You can also now become a member. Okay, Aquarius. What are the messages for Aquarius? I feel healthy and happy. So for some of you, this person, maybe, maybe they didn't live like the most healthiest lifestyle when they were here. Or maybe they were very unhappy, but that's not the case anymore. They're happy, they're free. Let's see. I send you loving signs through nature. I love this card. So if you don't spend a lot of time outside Aquarius, that's definitely um, the guidance here. Go outside. Go outside because if you do, I think you're definitely going to feel their presence. You're definitely going to see signs. Could be butterflies. Could be butterflies, dragonflies. Let's see. You are never alone. So I believe another sign had this. You are never alone. And if you're ever feeling alone, just go outside, Aquarius. Just go outside. It was my time to go. So I believe Sag had this. It was my time to go. So if you feel like, you know, their life was cut short or they were too young or anything like that, they're letting you know it was their time to go. But they're with you, they're happy, they're free, and they're sending you lots of love and signs. I feel like this person definitely sends you signs for some of you. It could be all the time. Let's see. Now, they may have been an ear sign. They could have been an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Let's see, Aquarius, what are the messages for Aquarius? Your desire is within reach. Have faith in everything. Have faith that everything is working out in your favor. So if you are manifesting something right now, or trying to, uh, don't give up. Have faith, everything is working out the way that you know it should, and they're with you. They're with you as you um, are going through this. Yeah, and they're telling you to be patient. So I could be reading for some uh, Aquarians where maybe you're very impatient, but they're telling you to be patient. Um, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So you're definitely dealing with divine timing. But let's see what sign they were. What sign for Aquarius? I'm definitely getting ear. Really could be any sign, but I'm getting ear. Possibly, possibly water. Yeah, I'm getting Scorpio. Pretty strong. And also Taurus. Ah, there's Scorpio. There is Scorpio and there's ear. So yeah, for some of you, there may be a fellow ear sign. 
Maybe they have both or they had both in their chart. But yeah, they're with you. You're never alone. And if you're manifesting something right now, they're with you. Go outside because I think that for many of you Aquarians, you're going to see butterflies, dragonflies, no doubt. Okay, let's move on to Pisces. So I hope Aquarius, you found that reading helpful. Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Narcissus Tarot. Welcome to a special reading. I'm looking at what your loved ones want you to know. So this is messages from your loved ones. This is for Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces, please? Okay, we have, I watch over you every day. So there's still a whole lot of love here. They're with you. Okay. Every day, so that's beautiful. All right, Pisces. I am here helping you. And then we also have my death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. So if you were blaming yourself in any way, they're telling you not to, they're with you. They're very much with you, Pisces. Whoever this is, they're very much with you. But I am getting very, very strong Um protective fatherly sort of energy here so it could be your father grandfather and uncle and their death was painless that's important i always give you a good night kiss yeah again there's a lot of love here now if this person um isn't your father it could be a husband maybe you, you have children or a child with this person possibly let's see Pisces what are the messages for Pisces do some research you need more information about the situation look into it further before proceeding so if you're doing something right now in your life pisces if you're manifesting something new they're around you helping you with this and they want you to do more research so you would know what that is but for others what i'm getting with this is it's possible this person when they passed that maybe there's a lot of like unanswered questions. Maybe for a few of you, this could be that their death maybe needs to be um, investigated. That's not all of you, but for some of you. Um, get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you will begin to feel stronger in all ways. So, um, yeah. The guidance here is to maybe take better care of yourself, Pisces, get more exercise. Maybe some of you um, need to research that. But yeah, their death was painless. And they're helping you with whatever you're going through right now. I feel this very strong masculine presence, a very protective energy. Pisces could be a female of course they could have been a female but maybe they were a very protective uh, person let's see Pisces who is this person coming through for Pisces all right we have Sagittarius and Aquarius 
So they could have been one of these signs. All right, Pisces, I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you like this sort of style of reading, uh, comment, uh, let me know, like the video. I'm just trying to try new things. Um, if you have suggestions for any sort of readings that you do want to see, uh, let me know if you like this sort of reading. Um, you know, we can we can continue on, on doing these and I can even incorporate um, other decks and things like that into the reading. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in having a private reading, right now uh, I do have my 30 minute readings on sale. So they're still discounted if you are interested in having one. Uh, also go check us out on Etsy. Uh, also, I just opened a crystal shop, um, but I, I sell a variety of different items. Uh, you can you can check out some of my decks right here on YouTube, uh, but I do have all of my links listed down below. If you are interested in this particular deck, uh, this is the Talking to Heaven Oracle Card deck. It is uh, over in my Amazon shop. That link is listed down below. So all right, guys, uh, I will talk to you soon. Take care.